Congressman Devin Nunes, ranking member of the House Intel Committee, and we want to zero in on the letter that you sent late Friday, Congressman, uh, to the heads of the FBI, the, uh, the DOJ, as well as the, uh, the NSA and the CIA. Why did you write this letter? Well, we're trying to get to the bottom of Mifsud. So as we talked about in the last segment, this guy originates the investigation. We know that the Mueller team wrote this Mueller dossier. They used a lot of these news stories that, in fact, sometimes were generated by leaks from the FBI. Now, I don't think the American people expect 20 DOJ lawyers and 40 FBI agents to write a 450-page report that's built off of news stories that, in many cases, they generated. Why I particularly have a, a problem with this is with, with one of the, the stories is because they pick a news story and then they cherry pick from it. So they use it partly to describe where Mifsud worked, but then they fail to say in that same story that they have given support to by using it in the Mueller dossier, they cherry pick it and they don't use that Mifsud was described as a Western intelligence asset. Now, Maria, anybody who's out there all they have to do is get on the World Wide Web. And if you type in Joseph Mifsud, Link Campus, which is where he worked, you will see, you will find, you don't even have to be able to read, okay? You'll find pictures of him with many foreign dignitaries, foreign leaders. You'll see that the Link Campus had the FBI was on the Link Campus doing training uh, nearly all the time, nearly every year. So how is it that we spend 30 plus million dollars on this as taxpayers? Yeah. And they can't even tell us who Joseph Mifsud is. So, so that's, we're getting to the bottom of this. So we believe he has ties to the State Department. The State Department, actually our State Department, had him in the United States Capitol in 2017. Joseph Mifsud, this is, and remember why is Mifsud so important? Because Mueller, the Mueller dossier team, they essentially make this guy out to be a Russian asset under the control of Putin said that he says he has ties to these to these Russians. You know, sound familiar? So, you know, this is this is the origination of this investigation. And it seems like Mifsud has an awful lot of ties to to U.S., British and Italian intelligence do, services. Do you believe that the FBI had all of these sources out to entrap people from the Trump campaign so that they could claim that there was a conspiracy, that Donald Trump was colluding with the Russians. But in fact, they put all of these sources all across the world to get to members of the Trump campaign like they reached out to Papadopoulos. Well, remember what I said on your show last year? Yep. I think I actually said, I, said, I think I said it first uh, on your show, as I recall. I said, I, I'm not worried about whether or not they were spying on the Trump campaign. That is fact. What I want to know is how many spies with an S were involved in this. And I mean, it, it's it, and this is why we have to get to the bottom of this. Why all this information needs needs to come out. Let me let me ask and you this. They, the, they, the reason, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Finish finish your thought, Congressman. Well, on on Mifsud. So, so in the letter, we also point out there's a, there's a lot of talk about, about how Papadopoulos, who was just on earlier, he caused the FBI and the Mueller team problems because he didn't tell them about his, the relationship with Mifsud and how Mifsud had offered emails. Now, this is in 2017. Okay? This is in the Mueller dossier. So this is all about in 2017, how, how uh, Papadopoulos harms their investigation, yeah. right? Well, 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 how is it then that the FBI or supposedly the FBI or other assets know to act, continually ask Papadopoulos about emails, about Clinton emails in 2016? Right. Nobody knew it except none of that, uh, none of that and Papadopoulos. So how did the FBI know if that's right. Misfood wasn't an asset of the FBI? Let me ask you this. All of this spying going yeah. on early in 16, watching Papadopoulos, knowing that he was reaching out to Lewandowski, this L London center reaching out to him to go work there, there wasn't a warrant. The, the FISA warrant to spy on an American citizen like they did with Carter Page didn't happen until October, later that year. So was right. this illicit spying? Well, uh, it's beyond me 
I, I never knew that you could use counterintelligence capabilities. These are, the, these are the capabilities that we have in our government to go after and target terrorists. I never knew that you could actually go out and use those capabilities to spy on Americans. And, and look, we don't know all this yet, for sure, uh, but I think we have, we have strong suspicions that, that that is exactly what was happening. And you really only have to look at the text messages from Strzok and Page, who were the FBI agents who were the lead that ultimately served on the Mueller dossier team. Mm. Uh, they, they were texting about this stuff. They wanted an insurance policy. That's right. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. That's right. Thanks very much. Thanks, Maria. We continue to peel Thank back you. the onion on this blowout story, which, of course, we've been covering now for two years, and you've heard the truth right here.